If you own a Noctua Chromax Black L9i cooler and have a problem with unscrewing the stock Intel bracket, you are not alone. From what I have seen, many people have stripped their screws because of the black coating. Also, from what I have read, Noctua is very irresponsible when it comes to help us solve the problem, which is very surprising as they seem to be a nice company. You know they sent me the AM4 brackets for this cooler and my NHD9L cooler for free. So it's very annoying to see that they are blaming the customers for their obvious mistake. As you can see right here, the screws were a bit stripped but the damage was not that bad because I stopped when I saw the problem. The issue is not to mount the bracket on the cooler first, then they start coating. The paint makes the screws and the bracket stick together, which make it much harder to remove compared to the normal L9i. But on December 24th morning, I saw the light. This guy who mentioned that a PH2 head screwdriver could solve the problem. I do have a PH2, but mine has a shorter arm, so I could not apply more force. I need a stronger and longer screwdriver. A quick trip to Lowe's and I got this. The brand is Craftman and it only costs $4, but I guess it could be enough. I placed the cooler on a thick mouse pad so that it will not slip away when I unscrew. In the first attempt, I hold the cooler with one hand and unscrew with the other. That damn screw was much stronger than me, and of course, it was failed. So here is the proof that even with the correct tool, we cannot unscrew this damn thing. So Noctua cannot blame us, the customers, for damaging the product, which is ridiculous. In the second attempt, I distrib that damaged screw one more time which was scary. <laughs> this time, I hold a screwdriver with both hands and push it down with all my strength. And this is why a thick mouse pad is important because I have nothing to hold the cooler and the mouse pad is the only thing that keep the cooler in place. And by doing this, all of those SOBs finally could come off. You can see how sticky the black pant is. Now I could finally install the AM4 bracket that Noctua sent to me for free. Here you can see that I am using my good old magnetic PH2 screwdriver and I could mount the bracket just fine. Using a long screwdriver to freaking stab the CPU cooler is ridiculous. All of this could never be successful if this guy, you refrigerated TP, did not share the screw bit that should be used for this damn process. Mr. Refrigerated TP, I thank you.
Honestly! Now, fuck off! I hope this video could be somewhat useful to you. And I really hope that Noctua fix this problem with the revision. And they must be more responsible for the early released Chrome Max L9i because we know this thing is a premium product with a premium price tag. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.